Imagine a conscious contact with God so strong that no matter what you are doing or not doing, that no matter what your kids are up to or not up to, and that whether you've got the person of your dreams or they're just not cooperating, that you are happy, content, and at peace. A space where everyone else's thoughts, attitudes, and actions are beautiful and exactly as they are supposed to be. Well, this is the space where I like to play. My name is Misha Z, and this is today's Bitch Slap. Join me as I shed light on the thoughts, actions, and attitudes that are causing you pain, and we train our minds to go to the capital S inner self, the joy that is waiting for us, the God within. I'm on a three-day camping trip, day two of the three-day camping trip, and I had this really cool moment, and I thought, you know what, grab the phone and record and the really cool moment was as soon as I took care of myself and and held a boundary and (laughs) the problem that (laughs) I needed to fix itself fixed itself (laughs) it was physical (laughs) Um, my knees were super achy so we're up at Iceberg Lake me and my buddy Kyle. Kyle's a 32-year-old charger. I'm a 53-year-old semi-retired charger. Um, But you park at uh, some meadow. I wish I could remember what it's called. It's about 6,000 feet, 6,500 feet, something like that elevation. So we started from Encinitas, which is zero. You're at sea level drove up to uh, Mammoth, spent the night there, and then uh, drove to this meadow where you can park, and then we hiked. It's about eight eight miles, I believe, eight and a half miles, and you increase your elevation 3,500 feet, 3,000 to 3,500 feet. And it's a healthy little walk, hike, especially if you've got a 25-pound pack on and so my knees were feeling it. My knees were absolutely feeling it. Um, and, uh, you know, you're uh, going up hills, down hills, stepping over rocks, you know, jolting <laughs> your your knees here and there. And um, anyway, just to set it up for you. Uh, but uh, there was going to be hiking to do on day two. And my body was like, yeah, you, you got to walk out of here, man. And your knees, they're going to need to, like, recover. Like, if you go hiking hard on day two, you are perhaps going to have a really serious issue on day three. Historically, I would push through all of that. And, uh, I had the opportunity to not push through. So we're at Iceberg Lake and, oh my gosh, the last, that last, it's like 600 vertical feet you're climbing. (laughs) I was like, oh no. Um, and I was thinking about honestly i was thinking about oh my god the people who like climb everest or k2 or these ridiculous mountains that are the highest in the world that you know in a perfect world you have oxygen once you leave base camp of sixteen thousand feet so you're camping these these people who climb these mountains are camping at sixteen thousand feet and you know they end up climbing to I hit pause while I was waiting for the gust of wind to die down. Um, very isolated up here, which is awesome. <laughs> and I've been reading Man's Search for Meaning by Victor E. Frankel. <laughs> so, lots of solitude and reading a really heavy, cool book. I'll save any takeaways from Man. 
friends search for meaning for some later episodes but i noticed i've had this book laying around for a little bit and i just noticed his name is victor e victory so cool i don't know why that just struck me um the really cool thing about the wind up here too the gusts of wind is it's so quiet and there's so much solitude that you can hear the gust of wind coming at you so you know it's coming well before it actually gets to you and it's so cool that there's that much peace and quiet that you can hear the wind coming and then you can obviously hear it and feel it as it hits you and hits the pocket of trees that I'm camped in um, but uh, yeah so Kyle was like all right we're going up to the next lake which it's like Ennis or Enid or something um, but you have to walk a bunch a bunch of slurry rocks on the side of a pretty steep slope and so I grabbed my water bottle to go with him this morning and you know made it about 200 feet and I was like uh yeah my knees really hurt and I think pushing through and getting the adrenaline to go so the pain goes away is not the thing to do so I was like yo Kyle I'm gonna take a down day and kick it at the campsite you go hike and uh it was really smart and Anyway, I, I've been reading and hanging out and doing a lot of stretching. And I just went for this little walk. And uh, and my knees are all healthy and feeling good. So I was struck. I was like, holy mackerel. Like, taking that down day, setting that boundary, holding to it, holding to what I knew my body wanted and needed. And then to have the healthy payoff, super cool. I do also want to say how um, good the solitude has been and how freaking beautiful it is. Anybody, if you ever get a chance, come up to Iceberg Lake in Mammoth. Oh, there's the wind coming. I, I can see it and hear it. Oh, you'll hear it hitting us. But um, super good stuff. This gets to be a short episode, a camping episode. Get out there, enjoy nature, have some solitude. Iceberg Lake is ridiculously beautiful. And that actually reminds me of, um, I believe, what's called a Crater Lake back in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, back in Teton. Iceberg Lake right here is surrounded pretty much on all sides by big granite peaks and the glaciers, what's left of them, melt right into uh, what is uh, Iceberg Lake here. And we did go for a little dip yesterday and it is cold, but it was refreshing. All right. Peace out. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending time with me today. As someone who is committed to growth and service to this world, I so appreciate your willingness to come with me, go within, and serve our world through change. If you found value in this podcast and you know someone who can use this message, share this episode with them. Share it so our mission can be achieved one episode at a time. And of course, subscribe so you can hear more. And lastly, for more resources on what has helped me on my journey and can help you on yours, go to belove.media forward slash resources. That's B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. Thank you again for listening.